Hello everyone! Are you familiar with the process of connecting to an SSH server? If not, let's go through it step by step. We need two tools to demonstrate this process, an SSH client and a remote system with an SSH server installed and configured on it. First off, I'm going to install the SSH client, so I have multiple choices for SSH clients on a Windows machine. I'm choosing the PuTTY package since it provides all the necessary tools that I need to establish an SSH connection on a Windows computer. Open your browser and enter putty.org in the address bar. Click on the Download PuTTY button. Locate and download the right package for your own computer. Launch the installer when it's downloaded. Uh, let me just close my browser for now. Alright, installation process is pretty straightforward. Keep clicking Next till you reach the Install button. I don't need to see the README file, so I'm unchecking this box. Installation is all done. I have all the necessary tools to connect to an SSH server. Now I'm going to show you how to use these tools. Let's create a VPS on cloudday.com so we can connect to its SSH server. Once again, open your browser and head on to CloudZ. Before creating the VPS, I want you to know that there are two ways that you can connect to a remote SSH server. Password authentication and public key authentication. The first one is easier to use but relatively less secure. The second approach allows us to authenticate using the public private key authentication. It involves a pair of cryptographic keys, a public key and a private key. The client generates these keys keeping the private key secret and storing the public key on the server. When the client attempts to connect to the server, it sends a digital signature created using its private key. The server verifies this signature using the stored public key, associated with the client's account. If the signature is valid, the server grants access without requiring a password. As you can see, the CloudZ panel supports SSH keys where you can import your public keys in this section and create your VPS with this public key configured on it, so you can connect to it using the corresponding private key. That's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to generate a pair of public and private keys using the PuttyGen tool. Clicking on the Generate button starts key generation process. It's also asking me to move my pointer a little bit. That's believed to increase randomness of generated keys. Save the generated private key on your computer. Keep in mind that this file is confidential, so make sure it's safe like the rest of your passwords. Now import the public key into the SSH keys section on the CloudZ panel. Now we can create a new VPS with this public key. I have to click on New Cloud VPS. I am choosing a basic configuration for this test. The only important point is to choose the imported key from the advanced section at the bottom of the page. Click on the Deploy button and wait a few seconds for the VPS to be created. Alright, my VPS is created. As you can see, the panel is showing my connection info right here. IP address, username and password which is hidden. I need this information to establish the connection. Let's launch PuTTY so we can actually connect to this newly created VPS. Enter the IP address, leaving port number to default, which is port 22. Choose data from the sidebar and enter the auto login username, which is root as shown in the panel. Since I want to connect using public key authentication, I also need to select my private key. Choose SSH, Auth, Credentials, and import your private key from the previous step. Click on Open and accept server's fingerprint. And that's it! I am now successfully connected using public key authentication. Password authentication is pretty much the same, we're just not going to provide the private key. 
so the SSH server will prompt for a password. Click on Open, copy and paste the password in the terminal. The connection is established successfully. Now we're done. I hope this tutorial was useful. There's also a hyperlink provided in the caption if you need additional information. If you have any specific tutorial requests, please feel free to leave a comment for me.